Arrest me! The decision to take down four Confederate monuments from public spaces in the city came after months of contentious debate in New Orleans that erupted in chaos Thursday. There's no fear! This is not a rally! City leaders called a special meeting to finally vote on a plan to remove the statues which includes a towering figure of Confederate General Robert E. Lee and another of Confederate President Jefferson Davis, all erected more than 100 years ago. We will not protect monuments built to honor some of the biggest criminals in U.S. history. We are back here judging people from 100 years ago. None of us would withstand that. Mayor Mitch Landrieu called for removing the statues this summer, saying for many they represent white supremacy and racial oppression. I believe that we can do better. We deserve better, and we must do it now. It has been a sad and sorry spectacle. But more than 30,000 people signed a petition opposing the mayor's plan, with many defending the history behind the statues. Thursday, one council member suggested keeping two of the statues up with plaques attached to explain their history. That plan failed. I'm not a prejudice in any way. I just believe that we can't rewrite history. But there are other people in this room who look at the same monuments and only see their ancestors hanging in trees, shackled in chains, and being whipped to death. After three hours of debate, all but one council member voted in favor of removing the statues. One of the things that I've shared is to fight side by side with white Americans defending a symbol. That symbol right there behind us, that flag, symbols count. The vote is considered one of the most sweeping moves by a U.S. city to cut ties with Confederate history. So what we did today effectively was help further that conversation and help them articulate further where white supremacy comes from, what it is, and so the next generation gets to sit in a deeper and bigger seat.